Taylor Reese, um, not Alice Piper, as is in the programme. Um, I, I'm from David Archaeological Trust. I started at the Trust in 2012 as a community archaeology training placement and stayed on thereafter as a community archaeologist. So very, very briefly today then, I'm going to talk to you about the Calc project. Calc is the Welsh word for lime. So just over three years ago, the Brecon Beacons Park approached us with the aim of uh, starting a project in the Black Mountains, which is on the western fringe of the Brecon Beacons. And its aim was to, uh, uh, to record and protect the site known there as Herbert's Quarry. Um, in the area there, there are hundreds of um, disused kilns. They date back in the earliest area of the site uh, from 1491, right up until in the most recent part of the site, the 1950s. So, in, during the project, uh, we undertook the usual community engagement. This was um, getting, uh, having festival events there. It was taking tours and talks around the mountain and giving talks to local community groups um, and taking volunteers out on site to record. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you today about education and the education resource pack that we wanted to create as part of the project. It is quite a large education uh, pack and to help us uh, create the pack we went out into schools um, to see what schools really wanted in terms of their curriculum. So we started with the primary schools then, we engaged with five local primary schools. Uh, we asked them what they wanted, how Purpose Quarry and the site could help them achieve that goal in terms of their curriculum needs. Uh, so first of all then we started off with an in-classroom session uh, to introduce children uh, to the, the kind of concepts of limestone and lime which was great as I discovered the most 10 year olds think of lime as a citrus fruit. <laughs> 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 so then we went out onto site and I discovered again that a two hour tour around the site will take six hours with 34 10 year olds. <laughs> um, but moving on from that we got back into the classroom uh, we undertook our project work, um, we created some fantastic things, we, we undertook science projects in the top left there we've got pupils that are testing pH levels, uh, we undertook um, art projects for schools that had new school halls that they wanted to create some nice ambitious artworks for, we made clay kilns, um, we really had some, it, some interesting projects come out of it. Uh, but. Moving on slightly to Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 and working with secondary schools as can be a problem. As a former history teacher myself, I am well aware of the constraints that are placed on teachers in terms of the curriculum and what they have to teach on it. Uh, so we went outside that and decided we'd approach a more extracurricular um, uh, uh, well, the pupils within the extracurricular. So we went uh, into schools and see if we could uh, get on board um, eco clubs, uh, reading history groups, any extracurricular clubs that pupils took part in during lunchtime or after school. And eventually, after much persuasion, it was the more able and talented group that we got on board for this project. Um, the group came with us, so we had the in-classroom sessions, and they also attended the site, they then took some surveying, some recording up there and we generally had, um, uh, you know, they got a lot out of it. They also came, uh, a few of the pupils came to us for work experience later in the year and a few of them do uh, aspire to be archaeologists at some point in the future. Just to sum up then, the, I didn't realise it's been that long, I'm really sorry. Uh, just to sum up, we have, uh, as part of the project, got quite a large education resource. It covers five subjects, history, English, art, geography, science. Uh, each has four units, each unit with its own lesson plans, PowerPoints, uh, everything the teacher would need for um, special educational needs and also for the more able and talented. Um, they are all available on the CAC org.uk website and they will be available on the Brecon Beacons Park website as well and downstairs on the DAT stall today um, I've got some of the education resources welcome any questions and I hope you come down and find me a chat thank you very much